Okay, so for this service, um, what we want is to go into this command prompt. So you can type in CMD here or command prompt, whatever it may be, you have to type that in and try to get into command prompt. And so we're going to, a lot of the things we're going to be doing to set up our server actually relies on this command prompt. So if you have no, um, you know, experience in this, I need to explain a little bit about how a command prompt works. Okay, so the command prompt um, uh, is basically a way for you to interact or to work with the directories inside your your notebook, right? Um, and so when you do the CMD and you go, you see the screen. The first thing is you need to see the screen. You're going to see what you call the this directory. So this is a directory. It is what you call the working directory. Okay, so you call this the working directory. Now it's very important when you're working with uh with our server platforms huh? or you're working with the command prompt or you're creating your own servers with node.js you have to know which directory you're actually creating it on okay you it's very you have to be very clear which directory you're creating it on because if you are running things from the wrong directory then you will find that you, there are errors because it cannot find the files that you want okay so the first uh the first thing to look out for when you do a command prompt is what you call your working directory okay so this is the working directory it's under c colon slash users s37251 okay s37251 so that is our working directory now you can list things okay this is in windows right in windows you can list things in a working directory uh, using this command called dir and this tells you what is inside this working directory, okay? So DIR will tell you what's inside this working directory. Okay, so DIR, let's just, you can use CLS, I believe, to clear this. Yes, CLS to clear it. And so again, DIR to display out. So you can see now I, how many directories do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Now, um, typically you can already create your directories right here okay but some of you who are quite particular might say I want to create my own directory okay I want to create my own directory so to create my own directory I'm just gonna type MD say let's just call this my node let's say because we're gonna use a platform called node.js and see this is for creating a directory MD okay so just remember that command for Windows, it's MD for creating directory, DIR for listing the contents. So as you can see, I am still in my working directory, right? So I am going to do a DIR again. Okay, and you can see from here that my node is actually created. You see that? There is a directory that's created. So what if I want to uh, go inside this directory now. I want to go inside. So basically go inside a subdirectory. So you can use this command called cd. It's the same for Mac and Windows. cd my node. Okay. cd my node. Now for Mac users, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well. Since I'm using a Mac, um, I will demonstrate that uh, all throughout. So cd my node. So you can see now, look at that. Once I type cd my node, you can see that I am inside my uh, the my node directory now. So you see, it's very important to know where you are. Okay, so your reference is always this um, this piece of text here, right? So I'm inside the subdirectory my node, which is inside s three seven two five one, which is inside users, which is inside uh, drive c. Okay, so you can go inside dir. You can see there is nothing here. Okay, there is nothing here. Now, what if I want to go back up? Okay, um, I want to go back up here, meaning I want to go to my parent directory. Let's say I want to go up here to S37251. I want to go out for some reason. So you can do CD two dots, right? And now you're back up into this directory. Okay, you're back up into this directory. Now, sometimes, you may want to do all of these things through uh, File Explorer, right? Which you can.
but uh, sometimes you can't do it because you need to do certain command line things, right? So you have to be able to do these things um, seamlessly, right? Use the command line or use File Explorer. So in File Explorer, let's just go just to show you. I'm going to click on File Explorer here. Okay. So you look, uh, look at this. Uh, I can actually, from here, there's a few ways I can navigate to, let's say, my node. I can type it right here. C colon slash users slash S37251 slash uh, my node. See, I'm in the same place, right? I'm in my node. If I want to go out back up, okay, see, it's, uh, when I click out of it, you will see that the path is there, right? But sometimes it'll rename it as something else. Then you could uh, you can just remove this and just say like that and now I'm in S3725 I'm in the same place so you will see if I click click DIR here right DIR this information this folders are actually the same as this okay that clear so again CD to go in CD double dot um, to get out all right um, all right now Basically, if you want to go to the root, no, let's say you are lost, no, you are lost, you don't know where you are. The most important place here, of course, is the the root uh, folder. Okay, so the root folder is Drive C. So to go to the root folder, which is in Drive C, you just do a CD backslash. See, now I'm in the root. Okay, so you have to know where you are. If you are always lost, just go into the root. You can also create your folders here if you want. That's fine. There's no rule which says you have to put it under users S37251. So you, you can create a folder as well. Here is SMD, MD, root folder, right? And then DIR. So you can see root folder somewhere here. There you see that? Root folder. So again, same with this. You could go to this PC. Okay, you can type it here actually if you're lost. Right, and then you can see root folders there. Now, how do you delete this? Of course, here you can delete it. People might be familiar with how to delete it from here, right? But you can also delete it from here. Now, here you have to make sure you are in the right folder to delete it, right? If you're in the wrong folder and you do not see this, right, then of course you can't delete it. So you have to know where you are. So since I did a DIR and I saw this, it's right, this folder is right here. I can do a del root folder to delete it. And then it will ask, are you sure? Yes. Right? So here, if I go here, root folder is still here, right? It's, it's a bit, it's not so smart, right? It should delete it actually. But if I go back, right? And I go to drive C, actually you can also do it from here, right? Uh, okay, maybe it's not so common. It's quite easy just to do here. C colon slash Why is it still here? It's not supposed to be here. So let's see a DIR. Oh, it's still here. Del root folder. Yes. Should be DIR. Oh, okay. Okay, I think the issue with mine is I have some permissions access. Okay, so if you're in like my case where you're, you know, you're seeing things are not working properly, because of some permissions issue because this okay frankly this computer is locked um, because this is using a virtual machine from sp all right but i'm just illustrating you can do this in fact so it's you see i'm locked i can't even delete it let me try uh. let me delete it oh here it's okay but somehow for this one it didn't work okay that's interesting yeah okay so these are quirks of Windows, but for sure it's administrative access. Now, you might also have a case where, oh, what I, I can't, um, I can't have, I don't have permissions. And this is my for my company, and for some reason, you know, I don't have permissions. So one thing you could do is you could go here, start in command prompt. Wait, sorry. Start command prompt, and then you can right click. Okay, and you can run as administrator. So just to be sure that you have full access to everything we're doing here, 
you can always run as administrator. But you can see mine is blocked. Okay, so hopefully in your case, uh, mine is a, a special case because it is blocked. Okay, so the bottom line here class is you need to know which, which directory you're in, um, which uh, folder you're in, how to create a folder, okay, and how to tell, basically how to navigate from the folder and how to tell which folder you're in. That's super important, right? Because if you're in the wrong folder, nothing will work. So always, if you're not sure, just do a DIR to list out, okay, if you are concerned. So that is my quick lesson on the command prompt, and we will be using this all throughout, especially when we're creating our servers. It's not that difficult, um, and it's it's just the way people do things, no? When you deal with all this open source software, as we're going to do. All right. So with that class, um, I'm going to be closing this now, and I'm going to be working with my Mac. Now the Mac and and Windows are pretty much the same. I will tell you the command. Okay, all the commands I've, I've talked about is basically what we're going to be using, all right? Uh, but in any case, I will keep on repeating it for both Mac and Windows. They are essentially the same. 